You are now watching Hey Jude. I will fight. Hey, what's up, guys? Jude here, and today I wanted to go over how to properly perform Jiren's bomb loop combos, which there are quite a few variations of. Now, if this is your first time viewing one of my tutorials, I'll go ahead and let you know how I go about doing things. The first thing I'd like to do is show you what it is we'll actually be learning. Then, I teach you how exactly we can replicate the combo, and finally, I go over the benefits of using this combo in the first place, and even the cons if there are any. Before we get into it, make sure to mash the like button and subscribe to become part of the Space Cowboy Army. Let's take a look at what we're learning. So as you can tell, it's very easy to confirm into, and obviously this variation requires you to be in the corner. It's not a difficult loop to perform when compared to others in the game, but it does have its nuances. When starting off, it's a standard 2M, 5M startup, and it's at that point that we have to take notice of a slight movement that makes this even possible. Now once we lift into the air, we hit them with a jump M, only the first hit which is followed by a jump cancel jump M. And unlike the standard jump cancel where you simply jump up or towards, with Jiren, you're gonna want to actually jump away from the opponent. This gives us the distance we need to send off the first bomb that will allow us to follow up. Before continuing, I want you to take a look at the direction of Jiren's first bomb. If you didn't know, Jiren can actually control the direction of his bomb. He can send it either straight forward, which is simply jump S, or he can angle it downwards, which is jump 2S. In other words, jump down S. This is important because this also allows us to control the height of our opponent, which leads into the follow-up. Following the previous jump M, remember, only the first hit. We input our jump 2S, and from here as we fall, we input jump LL, making use of the game's auto combo tracking feature, which will give us the height we need to connect as many hits as possible. Let both hits of the last L come out before we input the jump S. This time, you want to send the opponent flying forward and not at a lowered angle. Once the bomb connects, we super dash into another jump LL, letting all hits connect before we send off our final bomb, which is also jump S knocking them forward into the wall, which is followed up by the M version of his fierce look. I don't know the name, but it's his quarter circle forward M attack. And this gives us enough time to Dragon Rush. The Dragon Rush after the patch in the game allows for a sliding knockdown, which we can use to land his uppercut level one. I personally opt for the uppercut over the bomb super because it does more damage. <laughs> That was just the corner variation of Jiren's bomb loop, but he actually does have a loop while he's sparked up as well. Let's take a look at that one. Evil must perish. Come on. Your end is nigh, Goku. This old fear stands. You have no hope of winning. Fantastic! Not a difficult loop by any stretch of the imagination, but like with all things, it needs its proper practice. As you can tell, it's not hard at all to confirm into. You can spark confirm off of 2M, 5M, and from here, the loop begins. Once you pop sparking, go ahead and hit him with the 2M, 5M again. Then jump cancel towards your opponent and hit them with the first hit of jump M before sending off a jump 2S, which is the downward angled bomb. We want to send our opponent at a downward angle so that they bounce back off the ground from the explosion. A quick note here, once you send the bomb off, 
immediately air dash so that you can recover in time for your follow-up. You have to do this pretty fast or your opponent will just fall out. It'll take some practice, but you'll get used to it. Once you've recovered, do the first two hits of Jiren's Grounded Auto Combo and then jump cancel into Jiren's Airborne Auto Combo. Stopping at the second hit before doing another jump 2S into air dashing. When we touch down again, we're going to do Jiren's full grounded auto combo, which ends with Jiren blasting his opponent in the air. Follow this up with a super dash and land the first hit of his jump M and immediately go into his jump H for a sliding knockdown. From here, use the super of your choosing. <laughs> There is another variation which you can use when you aren't full screen. It's not different enough to warrant an explanation, but I thought I'd show it to you so you can get the idea and make the adjustments. With the how-to out of the way, let's break down why exactly you would want to learn these combos in the first place, and for starters, it's going to net you more damage than Jiren's standard bread and butter, but that's to be expected when it comes to loops. Now the corner variation nets you just about 5k damage. As we saw before, the corner variation also allows you to dragon rush using no bar. What this means is we get an easy sliding knockdown set up in the corner or a snapback. As you guys know, snapback incoming pressure is extremely good in this game. So having that free of charge is always a plus. You also gain the bar needed for your super, so the combo pays for itself. Nothing not to like about this variation. Next up, the sparking variation. Like mentioned before, the damage itself is reason enough to learn the combo as it nets you close to 7k damage. Not only that, but it does build you 3 bars of meter which you can use however you like. Spending the level 3 nets do the damage but you could always just spend 1 and leave yourself at a net positive of 2 bars. It also corner carries full screen so the positioning is great as well. Now that's it for the tutorial guys, comment down below letting me know if this was helpful and if there's anything in specific you need help with. Go ahead and leave a comment and I'll try my best to help you out. Mash that like button if you found the tutorial helpful, it helps me and the channel out as well as show interest in these guides. More people looking to learn will also be able to find it easier. If you're new here, subscribe with notifications on so that whenever I do upload you guys are immediately notified with the latest fighters content and my content in general. Thank you guys for rock with me and until next time Space Cowboys. Bang. Are you ready? Find it out! Guess I'll give you a fright. Guess I'll give you a fright. Can't you do it? Right. You work. Can't you do any better? Guess I'll give you a fright. Guess I'll give you a fright. Get ready for the
over here. Do it. Oh, don't get Get ready! <laughs> 